right before I did that paintless dent repair on that Sentra, I went deep sea fishing at Costco and got some salmon to smoke for dinner tonight. How about that? Here's my notes on smoking salmon. And I love when this thing first starts up. I like to walk through the smoke and smell it. Ah, it smells so good. Set the probe temperature for 115. And once that salmon gets up to about 115 degrees, I'm going to turn the smoker up to 300, cook to 142 degrees, and remove immediately because that's what it says to do right there. But I have found that uh, overcooking this salmon is not good and that 142 seems to be a perfect temperature. I decided to put the salmon on this cooking tray. Uh, oftentimes, if I just put it on the grill, I lose bits uh, when it gets close to being done. So I'm going to try it this way. I think I've probably done it this way before, but that's how we're doing it this time. Current status. I'll be back in a little while when it hits that 115 on the temperature probe. These things haven't quite gotten to the 115 yet, but I'm going to turn it up. Oh, I forgot I could do it on the app. And that's what they look like right now. There we go. I just changed the probe notification temperature to 135, so once it gets to 135, I'll hang out out there and keep probing it with the other meat thermometer. It's a little more accurate. And pretty soon we're going to be eating smoked salmon. Alright, let's go check it out. Just, oh, yeah, we're just about there. Alright, we are there. Yep. All right, it's coming off. Well, it's not quite Valentine's Day, almost. So we got some hearts with our salmon. And this little piece fell off, so what do we do with this? Oh, hmm. That's really good. Wow. Mm. There we go. Dinner time.